Morning guys, Sunday morning. Look, I apologize profusely. And the reason why I'm apologizing to you is because it's Sunday and I had my show at White Plains yesterday, which was Saturday. And you know I always give you my card show recap usually within uh, a half an hour of me arriving home. But I, I think you saw a few uh, of my buddies' uh, videos already, Ted Serendi and Victor Negron and whatnot, guys that happened to come down to White Plains and, uh, you know, their videos told you that I wasn't such a good show and that I was in a foul mood. And, yeah, I was. Uh, but I'll get into that and whatnot. So uh, I didn't feel like making a video last night. Simple as that. Okay, just didn't have it in me and I wanted to get it out of my system. So I watched the Yankees beat Ted's Red Sox. Okay? Yeah. Got a card in the background, guys. I'll tell you what that is in a minute. So let's get going. So look at Sunday morning. I got up early because I had things on my mind. So I went to church. I uh, had my communion wafer, which, like I told you, to me, that's the best tasting thing lately. I don't know why. I can't give you a reason. It just does. So I went to church, I met all my goombas, and, you know, I said hello to Father Ryan today, and, and you know, usual hour, doing, you know, the right thing on a Sunday morning. And then I went to have some breakfast at the diner by myself, Mrs. Russo was still sleeping, yeah, freaking woman, you know, they could sleep standing up. And uh, I went to my favorite diner, and... Uh, I had a big breakfast because breakfast is my favorite meal. Uh, I had uh, scrambled eggs over easy with hash browns and buttered toast. And uh, I tried something different because one of the waiters who knows me for years, uh, he told me they got this new sausage, a Polish type breakfast sausage, and he thinks he, I would enjoy it and so forth. So I had to look what's the difference. If I didn't need it, I'd order something else. And it was delicious, spicy, just the right amount. And I, I enjoyed it thoroughly, so I'm ready to go. I had a good morning to start with. I'm going to show you some things in other videos. But right now, I just want to give you the recap. Uh, look. I do the little shows on Long Island, Plainview, Hofstra. They're not big shows. I don't expect much. If I have a good day, that's a good thing. But, you know, my expectations are not that high. Uh, and it's a social event, and I see my buddies, and I expect that. However, White Plains is a show I've been doing for over 20 years. They have it like six, five, six times a year. I used to do every one. Now, maybe three a year. You know, I'm not as... Uh, as, as uh, spry as I used to be and, you know, setting up, especially with my freaking fractured leg. And, uh, uh, but still, I hadn't done one. I think last March was the last one I did up there, and I had a good show. So I was expecting more, you know, in a big place with a lot of people. And, you know, yeah, they got to take the money out of the wallet, but they're there with money to buy cards. That's what they should be there at a big show, you know. 10 o'clock to 2 o'clock is usually your meat and potatoes. After that, you know, until that is at 5, but the last three hours, your stragglers, your sister's ass, or whatever it may be. I'm telling you, between 10 and 1, it was like it was 2 or 3 or 4 o'clock in the afternoon. You could see clear across the convention hall, that's how many heads were not there, okay? It just was, I'm sitting there scratching my ears, and, uh, I'm lucky Ted and Brian Roth, a nice young man who came down, came with Ted. Uh, and uh, I met a few other guys, obviously Victor Negron and a couple of other co YouTubers, Card Collect 05 and Connor's Sports Cards. And, you know, at least it was a distraction. I had somebody to talk to because I'm telling you, I'm sitting there and people, there's nobody in front of my table. Can't sell to a ghost. It seems like there was more people in the middle. I was on the outskirt, you know, because I just signed up for the show like a week 10 days ago so but it was fine it was by the concession stand so it was should be people guys like i said i've been doing it over 20 years the worst show i ever seen there on a saturday okay and uh 
I'm telling you, you expect more. The tables are a decent amount of money, you know, and the whole nine yards. And I was hoping to do twenty-five, thirty thousand dollars and buy forty thousand dollars worth of wax. Didn't happen. I struggled to get what I ended up buying, and you'll see that in later videos and all. But uh, it just wasn't there, you know. And uh, I, at the end of the day, I was pissed off, and I didn't make much. I mean, whatever the number was, it was. So I called my friend. It's a woman. She's been doing this a long time. You might know them, Sharon and Siobhan, Black Jaded Wolf. That's what they are on eBay. They have beautiful stuff. They bought from me for years. You know, I said, look, come over. I need some cash here. So I, you know, you've seen my setup. I sold them like five or six cards. Big money. But, you know, hey, you know. They're the ones who are going to make the money on the cards. They're going to be down in Chantilly next next weekend at the Chantilly, Virginia show. They go to the National. They go all the big shows. The ones that I don't go, but I'll be there. Don't worry about it. You know? So overall, the bottom line was, again, it wasn't a good show. Nothing you can do about it. No arguments, no whatnot. I did more from the dollar box, guys. I'm telling you, I did the, it's the best show for dollar box. I did really, really well for my dollar box. But all the high number cards then. The big hitter cards, which I needed to sell, didn't happen anyway. So, so anyway, uh, the show's over. I don't do the Sunday because today it's on also, but I'm not. I don't do Sundays. It's my day of rest. It's my day of football now, and I don't know when my next show is. I could do one in a few weeks, but we'll see what happens. I don't know, you know. So, uh, what else? Okay. Oh, what the hell was that? Oh, oh nothing, guys. It was nothing. All right, look. This is a card, the only card that I picked up yesterday, you know, and I got it in a trade from a dealer walking around because I wanted a Donovan Mitchell on card autograph, okay? And it's nice jersey from Crown Royale, so that's the only pickup. I wanted more, but it didn't happen, all right? So that's why you got a backdrop. But I like the card, Donovan Mitchell, all right? So that, <coughs> hey, wait, excuse me, guy. Oh, hold on, wait, let me... Wait, I'm, wait, I'll be back in a second. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Oh. Guys, look, I'm really embarrassed. I don't want to cut the freaking video off now, but those, that sausage must just start repeating on me that I just gave a little while ago. So no big fatty ass and let's go. Anyway, this is what I'm going to show you in this video. Some of these Panini football packs that you get when you buy cases. Yeah, I ended up buying three cases. You'll see them. So let's open this and get it. I don't want this video to be 20 freaking minutes. So, long. so let's show you. You know, I, I don't I don't know what's in them. I don't know what to expect, but let's show you. The base cards, just to show you. You know, and then I'm not going to show you no more. Ryan Shazier. And then they have these uh, Adam Thielen. I don't know if these are numbered. This is. I mean, they're pretty because they got shine. Yeah, number to 50. Adam Thielen, you know, these, you get these packs free when you buy boxes or cases, guys, that's how you do it, Kevin Bayard, number 299, just to give you an idea, okay, all right, so let's get going, I don't want to, like I said, I don't want to belabor the, 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 the video, Bel belabors, you know, belabor, <laughs> all right, one second, hold on, hold on, all right, let me open this, so, all right, what do I got here, hold on, oh, oh. Uh, Matt Ryan base. I'm not going to show you. In a Jarvis Landry number to 25. I mean, whatever it's worth is free, guys. Free. Nothing's free, but this is free. But you pay for it. They, up, they jack up the price of the case by 20 bucks. All right, next. Oh man, I'm telling you guys, I'm really embarrassed. But look, you guys know me long enough to not crucify me. Antonio Brown, Derek Carr. So there was nothing in there, and. Oh, and uh, one second here. I don't know if you get autographs or Zach Martin. Here's another Adam Thielen. I mean, he's probably the best receiver in the game right now. It looks like 66 of 99. So Adam Thielen. But you guys in Minnesota, you must know who he is. And the guys who are not in Minnesota knows who he is. But look at the stats. Okay, what else? Keenan Allen, C.J. Mosley base. I'm not going to show you those. Yeah, so Brian, I don't know if you're watching this video because, you know, I don't do vintage. Plenty of vintage at the show. There's vintage everywhere. I know you're into that uh, guy, Hank Greenberg. And uh, 
you know, I don't have no Hank Greenbergs. I got Sid Greenberg, I told you yesterday, but you're not interested in that, right? Jimmy Garoppolo, and here's a Baker Mayfield color, number 299. Look, it's free, so if it's $5, it's $5 free money, no? All right, next pack, and then you get... Guys, really, I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish this video. I might have to run. If I run, I'm just going to do a quick shut-off base in there. All right, so no promises that I'm going to be uh, finishing this video here. Keenan Allen, Philip Rivers, and that's base. I'm not showing you. I got 16 packs, guys, so hold, let's hold your horses. Chandler Jones, and I got a Bruce Irvin, Bruce Irvin, Oakland. Tony G, Tony B, I'm going to probably put together a little Oakland package for you and send it to you. As long as you keep on giving me boohahs in the freaking morning. Yeah, yeah, I told you. That one day, that one with the tats on the arm. Um, yeah, give her my card. I told you. I give her a job at the Bada Bing Club over in Passaic, New Jersey. If she's interested, tell her to give me an email, okay? All right, so there was nothing in that, all right? So let's see these other packs here. There's four more packs, but these were the dickies. There's jerseys too, so that's why I saved these for last, okay? All right, let me just open that up. And I almost dropped it between my freaking leg. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, let's see. Now, here. Here's Harrison Phillips. Who's that? Rookie debut jersey. Number to 50. Who's Harrison Phillips? Don't know no Harrison Phillips. <clears throat> okay, next. I got a Pro Bowl jersey of Le'Veon Bell, number one of eight. One of eight, the Le'Veon Bell, who will play for the Pittsburgh Steelers soon and then not play for them. I mean, they'll trade him or something, but still the best running back in the league, arguably. Arguably. All right, here's a number to 50, Andy Dalton Ball. Ball. And the last pack, guys, and then you can all go and have your breakfast and whatnot, Sunday. All right. And the last pack is this song. I made it through the video, guys. Whatever happens now is I'm going to be all right. All right, here, Todd Gurley. And here, this is nice. I mean, again, it's a big dicky. It's number 25. It's of Mason Rudolph. It's got like a tag, medium, medium something, gold or whatever. Mason Rudolph. It's free, guys. If I get $5, $10 for free money. Free money, all right? So, guys, look, stay tuned. I got wax. And, yeah, it was hard to, it was hard to come by. But I still got it for you. And I did it for you. All right. Oh, 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 oh. I'll see you. Now, run.